What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another alternate vintage cube. This is the cube put up on Magic Online by Gabby Sparts and Luis Scott Vargas. And we're going to take Mana Crypt, because that's basically power. And then we're going to take Dak Faden, because that's pretty good, too. Karn is also sweet. Um, yeah, I don't know. This seems like a pretty easy Dak Faden here. I see an elf. I don't even know if I saw an elf there. I'll be honest. It's so funny. Like, I mean, like when we have mana crypts and things like that in the pack, I'm just like, for some reason, like those, I don't want to say lower powered cards, but like the, the more role player cards in a deck don't really stand out to me as much. Like, I think, I think when you first open packs of like vintage cube, your eyes do like cursory looks and try to find like the, the, the powerful stuff, you know? I like an Elrond's Epiphany here. Goes well with a Dak Faden. Don't think we care about Celestial Colony. Iron Mace is also good. <sighs> Life from the Loam. That's interesting. I'm going to take Elrond's Epiphany. I think Time Walks are pretty strong, especially when you have Planeswalkers. Forest Island. Forest Island. I think we're just going to take Trop and maybe see if Teamer is an option here. Upheaval. Huh. I actually kind of like Bring the Light here too. Bring the Light is pretty sweet with Valky. Interesting. I don't know how they have enough room for all these cards. I feel like recurring strip mine is not a thing that, that you need more ways to do. But maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm crazy. What about Harpy to spring into upheaval? Kind of like Harpy to spring here. It's like Rex Sage here. I want to take the Rex Sage and assume the Heartbeat will just come back. Oh wow, Ketria Triome <laughs> in our clearly Teamer deck. That's really nice. And then you get nothing, so we'll just take a Savannah here. At least we can search for it with a a white fetch. So that's cool. Bayou came back too. That's interesting. I think we're just going to play Explore here. Like, we already have upheaval, so putting more mana into play is not terrible. Oh, I like a Jade Light Ranger. Yeah, let's take JD Boy. Well, they never really added the, the Triomes to the Vintage Cube, so. Wow. Blue white. So all of the lands we're seeing now are 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 white or black, which is I'll take colonnade here. So now we have two sources of of white here in case that's a direction we're going in. Uh take Tusky. Sure. That card's not unplayable.
Oh, the Bring the Light came back. Interesting. That makes our Savannah and Celestial Colonnade better. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, unfortunately, you can't play this for six, right? So you can only get things that cost five or less. You can just, creature, instant, or sorcery that cost five or less is really what you're getting there. Um, this pack is pretty underwhelming. I think it's just mana leak. I mean, sword's good, but like, we have three creatures right now. <laughs> I think I'd rather just have mana leak. I think mana leak's a more solid card. Thirst is also good, but I think I'm just gonna stick with the mana. Oh, Mystic Confluence, sweet. I also like Scalding Tarn a lot, but I'm gonna take the Mystic Confluence. I'll typically take one of my like favorite pet cards over a a good land most of the time. A lot of the early early in the draft anyway, with the assumption that we can just get more lands. Cryptic command. Hitetsugu's second ride in here is so funny. Do you think it's actually Cryptic Command? <laughs> I think we're just kind of changing direction here. Now we have Mana Lake, Cryptic Command, Mana Confluence. Oh yeah, this mis I said Mana Confluence. Did I say Mana Confluence? Myst Mystic Confluence, rather. Coalition Relic is actually a banger. Makes Cryptic Command much easier to cast. <laughs> Let's take Coalition Relic. And if we can get back like Ancient Grudge or Kodama's Reach, that would be sweet. Oh, Stomping Ground is nice. Let's take a Stomping Ground. Also an Urza. Jeez. Eh. Actually, Urza's really... Yeah, we're taking the Urza. It's really good with Cryptic Command, Mystic Confluence. It's really good at producing blue mana, so... Let's take that. Look at this old border Torcerer Spyglass. But no old border Thraben Inspector. Again, really weird. Really weird decisions and no old bordered chain lightning. So like we have an old border card, but only the one. I don't know. I think we're just taking Deceiver. Uh, I can see Questing Beast actually. It seems fine. Let me take a Wandering Fumeral here. I kind of like Niv-Mizzet, but I don't know if we're a Niv-Mizzet deck. I don't think we are. Our mana base is not terrible for it. We just only have two gold cards right now. I'm just going to take Fires of Invention. <sighs> I think Binding the Old Gods, I guess. We can get a Black Splash. None of these cards are actually great for us. We've taken a, a high concentration of blue and green things. And I'm glad we took this drop in this Ketria Triome. Just take Sacred Foundry here. We're clearly four color, no black. <laughs> now we have Savannah, Sacred Foundry, and Colonnade. We have one... Colored mana. Um, I'm gonna take Kiki Jiki in case that Deceiver X art comes back. Uh, Nahiri is actually fine. Actually, let's take. I think, I think Nahiri is better, and I think we have a good fixing for it. So it's probably fine. Take this guy. Yeah, take the Raven. Okay, so no pet, no Deceiver X arc, and I don't, I don't think Triple Red's really that exciting if it's. Katie's having a bad day, so I'm trying to... 
Maybe hit that a little bit. Um, Black Lotus. I guess we're taking Black Lotus. That seems like a good card, right? I didn't even see what was in the pack because it's Black Lotus. So that seems good, right? Uh, what is this one? This is, um, Jess guy is actually pretty good. Every time you say Nahiri, my cat Nagiri looks up at me. Well, that's what you get for naming your cats after sushis. I kind of like Rawgrim Triome here. Nahiri. 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 Did that do anything? I kind of like Zealous Conscripts here. We do have Kiki Jiki. What if we go Fires into Kiki Jiki Zealous Conscripts on the same turn? He's not impressed. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're just going to take Zealous. I think Zealous is really strong. Leovolt is also cool. Let's take Time Warp. No, let's take Lotus Cobra instead. We already have Alrin's Epiphany, and I think Lotus Cobra is probably a little better for our mana base. Oh, yeah, Professor Onyx. That's pretty sweet. That's definitely a card that I've added to my keep as well. Ominous House Augury being in here is wild, because that seems like more of a like a Live the Dream Cube type edition and not a Vintage Cube edition. I'm just taking Lumbering Falls. We need all the blue fixing we can get. And now we'll take this Oko, which is pretty sweet. I will take Oko. Hopefully Teferi comes back. That'd be pretty sweet. I have my doubts, but we'll see. I don't think we're taking Ancient Tomb when we already have Mana Crypt. I ain't trying to die to my mana base. Yeah, we'll just take Sanctum here. Again, blue mana is... Oh, we have the Valky and we also have the Bring to Light. That's interesting. How how consistently are we getting four colors for this for just like, in case we don't want to get Valky? I think we just have to get Valky. Yeah, we're just taking Valky. Let's take Escape. Escape is pretty solid. It's like Caracas is actually pretty decent here. I don't think we're going to Hornet Queen. Caracas also does help us with a Bring to Light. Sure, I'll take a Caracas. Sometimes you just win a game with a Caracas. It's totally normal. What? <laughs> That is an option. This is 22 cards. I think we need to add some things, unfortunately. Um, I guess we could play Kiki Jiki, and then we can actually... Uh, it's hard to get with Bring to Light because we can only make like four colors here, so that's not ideal. I think we're probably just taking Avenger of Zendikar and then just casting it. Yeah, I guess that's a thing. I don't think we're Black Cleave Cliffsing. I mean, with Lotus Mana Crypt Coalition or like, I think actually Woodfall Primus is fine. And this could be our 23 with one of these acting as a land. This deck is interesting. Also, we have the Valky combo, so. 
She's over here looking longingly at me. <laughs> oh boy, good times. Oh, Dryad seems fantastic here. Wow. Uh, the Valky combo is you bring to light for, for two, you search for Valky and put it into play as a Planeswalker. Yeah, like they changed the rule with um with Cascade where you can't cascade into it, but you can still Needle Spires is actually kind of playable here. We only have one white card, but we can play like Yes. So this is all our white mana. Five white sources, huh? I don't think we want Needle Spires. I think it's just too many lands that come on to play tapped. We already have Wandering Femoral, Lumbering Falls, Triumph, and maybe Botanical Sanctum and Colonnade. That's a lot. So you're out, but you guys are in. And that leaves us with 25. We need one cut. I think we can probably cut Toski. Hmm. We could also just play Kiki Jiki. We can also like play Fires of Invention. Kiki and Fires. And cut like some of the counter spells, maybe? No, nah, I don't like that as much. I think Kiki Jiki just triple red is going to be a little hard in the mana base. I think we just cut Toski. I don't think we're winning with Toski here. Okay, so we need seven more lands. That would put our count at 16 lands plus mana crypt plus Lotus, which I think is good. Let's sort by color. Um, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I like that. One, two, three, four, for four red cards. And then white, we have one. I actually don't think we need a white because we have like five white sources that are non. And I'm actually just going to add a second red. And we have one white card, so. All right, this deck looks sweet. Also not sure if you guys saw it, I just posted it on Twitter, but Old Border Urza. I definitely called this one a little while back and uh, it's pretty exciting. <laughs> definitely gonna slot this guy right into the cube. So that's pretty sweet. Oh, we didn't hit play. Wow. For some reason that happens so frequently. I'm always like, well, I'm waiting for a match here. Wonder when it's going to pop. Oh, wait. I didn't hit the play button. Welcome to being a dum dum. Having both of these makes me do wish I pick up like the Bayou when we had the chance. I don't know what we took over it, but. I <laughs> like trying to pause your Twitch stream after watching lots of you. Yeah, I imagine it's a very similar experience.
Let's do it. Whoa, first turn lightning helix or chain lightning rather with uh that's fascinating. Oh, wow. This is a lot of things happening right now. Oh boy, we are in bad shape right now, my dudes. Okie dokie. Dude, if you turn one chain lightning to someone, you know you know exactly what you're all about. <laughs> oh boy. Taking six here on turn turn two. Turn three. Yeah, turn three. Doesn't matter. Not really. We're dead. It's very funny. Our opponent's name is Zeus is Yo Daddy, and the first thing they do is lightning bolt. They chain lightning us. Like, <laughs> like that's you know what? I don't love it, but it's friggin' perfectly on brand. Oof. Well, I don't want you to have a Bone Crusher, so at least we'll get rid of this guy. I mean, you know, we're only going to two next turn, so we're probably fine. Oh, God. All right, well, good game. Everybody played hard. What does this guy do? That's interesting. I'm going to go to the next game. I'm not even, you know what? We'll draw. Maybe it's a Lotus. It was not, it was not a Lotus. It's not, it's not ideal. Okay, let's pile by converted mana cost. I actually don't even know if I want upheaval in the deck, to be quite honest. Um, take out Woodfall Primus, bring in Strike and Voice. Um, probably cut a green for a Needle Spires, because it helps us cast both. <laughs> you tap the Conspiracy Theorist to storm the capital. Well, that's gold. I will play first. Valky's not ideal. Any red source would be great here. Wow. Okay, Rex Sage is actually pretty good against this little tiny idiot. Red source? That's technically a red source on a long enough timeline. Okay. Everybody played hard. Island, huh? Well... Huh. Oh, what up, Music Manly? Land? That's I guess that's kind of a land. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> question mark? What, like, literally, like, I haven't even taken one minute yet. Like, literally, I cast it at 543. During 543, he's like, question mark? Yeah, man. How about give me 60 seconds, bro? Oh, God. <laughs> like, Jesus, these fucking people, man. I feel like it's red. I feel like it's dryad and then lightning strike. Like, holy shit, dude. Hello, you played a Lotus within 30 seconds. Can you do something, please? Yeah, bro. Take it easy. Yeah. Could have played that with Dryad, but alas. Lands is rough. red deck gotta go fast <laughs> like i can't even imagine that like you sit there for 20 30 seconds in a match and someone's like hello are you gonna do anything what a fucking weird way to to like just to be i guess oh good mana leak yeah we're just gonna concede like this isn't even fun cool all right that was fun Good times. <laughs> that was a match that I that I enjoyed. Oh, Sammy with the bits. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Okay, see this is a hand. I keep getting Valky in hand, which is kind of rough. I mean, I guess we can get to four land and then just cast Valky as a. Cool. <laughs> this is going to be one of those drafts, guys. It's going to be one of those drafts. Man, being able to play Mystic Confluence on turn two off of Lotus would have been pretty sweet. Well, each play is going to take at least a minute. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty, pretty decent. Oh, was it taking too long? Well, that's too bad.
And now you get to take my Mr. Confluence. <laughs> what? Oh, man, your timing is just chef's kiss. Man. So three of the cards that I've been most excited to play with in this in this game I've uh, have been rendered ineffective. So that's unfortunate. Oh, good. I'm sure this is going to end well. I can't believe it's almost Halloween. It's not really, though. It's not... Not really. Oh, that's a good one. Let's do that guy. There's some wild dogs barking in the backyard here. Not in the backyard, but in the, I guess in the outside. In the outworld. Okay. I'm already done with this heat. As a Floridian, I got some bad news for you, buddy. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. The mood is right. And it was a boop. Michael B. Lives up in the tree. You're gonna, what are you doing here? You're going to entomb something. Okay. I bet it's a gristle brand. It's always a gristle brand. It was a life from the loam. Hmm. Well, I'm fascinated. Things are happening here. Better than a wife from the loam, am I right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I, I think you're correct. I think it's basically oh they just Oh good, they hit the dark depths. <laughs> well they can't cast life from the loam though, right? <laughs> Come on. Get it together, buddy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Man, Woodfall Prime is also worse when they have life from the loam in hand. Come on, buddy. Uh, yeah, you know what? You got it. That's, that's what you want to do with your life. Just knock yourself out, my friend. All right. So another hand is life and one rando. Don't have a, we don't have a white source for that guy. Just in case, just in case you didn't know. Let's do it. Flip it. Oh, that was a good one. Wow, that helps us with Valky and Neary. Jeez. Talk about the luck of the Irish. I mean, let's be honest. It's no time spiral, right? But similar but different. I'm just going to take two here. I'm not going to block so it turns on your chain lightning, lightning bolt, lightning strike, fireball, firebolt, whatever. Okay, they're just going to lose the game there? 
I guess they know we have Valky, so. Wow, that was really. That was a game, all right, I guess. Not sure how I feel about it, but all right, it existed. And uh, that's something. The thing is, we don't really have a great answer to a. Um, a merit lage, right? It's unfortunate. Watson over here. I don't know where Wallace Ray is. Oh yeah, we're gonna ship this hand. That's for sure. I'll keep it. I won't love it, but I will keep it. This is actually pretty good. This puts us to a turn three cryptic command, but I'm pretty sure they're just going to uh, thought sees us here. So that's unfortunate. With both thoughts, he's in duress. The odds, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. This is Chad sounds like an old man rambling. It's true. The luck of Billy Eilish, luck of Billy Joel, luck of Billy Idol, old Willie Joel, luck of Billy Jean, luck of Bill Pope. God, everything is, everything is horrible. Okay. Yep, that's that's not at all annoying. They did have to play a mountain, so I guess that's a thing. But we are in bad shape, my dudes. That is unfortunate. I listened to a podcast earlier this week that did something like that. Did something like what? Old Man Rambling? Yep, cool. Drop okay, we're done. Yep, this is not not a good time. Why does that sound familiar? Did you tell me about that? Um, I don't, I, again, like there's nothing in our deck that I feel like is really better than what we have. I'm keeping his hand and it sucks because with two non-basics, but. Let's see if they wasteland this immediately. Yeah, that name sounds like a different kind of meaning. It does.
Oh, we got to keep a land, so that's kind of cool. I guess we'll just tropical island here and hope our, our lands don't die. Yep, figured that was coming. Oh, they targeted themselves to get rid of Grave Titan to then reanimate. That's good. This deck is sweet. Yep, that's pretty good. Not sure we, uh... Yep, not sure we can do anything about that. This draft, uh, while our deck seems sweet, uh, has not gone well, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I saw Suspend. Suspend looks real sweet. Um, the actual card name Suspend, which is exile a creature and put two time counters on it. If it doesn't have Suspend, it gains Suspend. Yep. So what do they play? Thespian Stage, him to Torok, and Reanimate. So we have two of their three cards. So next turn we take six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're just dead. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. We could play Rex Sage and block only take eight, and then we bounce three creatures, and then we take eight again. So that's not going to do it either. Not looking great. Trying to keep the the one two dream alive here. Suspend is now a card. You just posted it. I mean, suspend is a yeah. It's this card right here that you you posted it. Oh man, my nose is all. Dude, my nose has been so dry this week. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like the Colorado weather. I don't know if it's been the moving that's like all the dust and the the dirt you know that comes along with moving. Every time you move anything, like it's just you realize how dirty everything is. Like from trucks to boxes to you know things around the house. Oh, it was new to you. You posted it and then you asked about, got it, got it, got it. That makes sense. Let's keep this. see what our options are here we can make a bunch of mana this turn i think okay that's even better can we play it all we go lotus into cobra we have one mana floating play our land we get two more mana play dryad play our second land i think we're gonna do it all this turn So it's got to be green, right? Cobra. Um, blue, I guess. Okay. Okay. Not the most threatening turn one, but not terrible. 
heads. One the flip too. Oh boy. Oof. So we have one, two, three, four. So we actually can't do it like that. We have to just go all three. I don't think I care about this guy. I think we'll just take the two here, right? So. I'm just going to make a food. I, I was going to make this guy a 3-3, three, three, but, I, you know, this is probably a little better. I can just pass here. I mean, we're definitely hitting the island with the Sage, for sure. The baby that used to fall asleep while I had her stream playing is going to be there in like a week. It's going to be three in like a week. Okay, that's really... Uh, okay, so now our Dak Faden is not as good. I guess we can negate that guy if we want to. Or we can wreck Sage it. Heads again. Oh, man. One, two, three, four. We need more mana. Kill the idol on sure. Um... Oko is also really good with, with Mana Crypt, in case you guys didn't know. Okay. Okay. They're going to kill the creature that doesn't let them draw more than two cards, more than one card each turn to draw two cards. Okay. Oh, we can steal that? Oh, this is actually going to be pretty nuts. I think this is probably going to be the end of the game, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> Lost a flip? Sure, don't care. Don't even care. Um, I don't know why I tapped that. Game control of Scully McClamperson. Uh, target artifact creatures all abilities. This guy. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Uh, let's play a Caracas for a green. Oh yeah. Upheaval? Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll keep it. Sure, why not play another land here? This is what going off feels like. Urza. Let's get in there with this thing. That was a turn. Yeah. 
I have two cards. The thing that's scary about Vintage Cube is it puts you in this mindset where you're like, let me think of all the things that could kill me when they have five mana in red and white. Okay, Burst Lightning. We have one, two mana. Okay, you got it. Oh, we should have actually tapped the Skull Clamp and kept the Caracas up, and then we could have saved Urza. Yeah, that was a pretty bad misplay. God, we're just winning flips left and right, boys. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's exactly six mana, but we get to replay Mana Crypt and land. Man, that'd be so much better with Urza. So we'd have three mana up. We could replay Dryad. It's actually pretty good. Artifact or creature loses all abilities becomes an elk. Let's actually draw two, try to hit a land. I don't know if I want to hit a land, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we get to play two lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, I'm feeling stupid right now. Yeah, I guess we just kill them. I'm trying to do cool stuff, guys, okay? I feel terrible about this now. What a dummy. What an actual idiot. I guess I could just kill you. I guess. Red, white, huh? Lightning strike is probably decent against you. Woodfall Primus seems a little slow, but it does kill enchantments, right? No, it's not non creature. Yeah, I mean, like, that's my goal. Like, that's I, I just want to do the cool shit in the cube. So, like, sometimes I'm like, oh, there's a win on board. I didn't see it because I was trying to do cool shit. You got a problem with that? Oh, and we could play Caracas and bounce this. See, again, I'm just like, what a waste of a turn. I was so busy worried about getting this down, but now we're, oh, I guess they didn't do anything else though. So that seems fine. Yeah, this is a correct play. See, they didn't do anything on turn two, so it's actually fine. Because if we just bounced it, they would have replayed it. I mean, would have taken two less, which could be relevant. But oh no, that's definitely not resolving. Let's be let's be clear about something here. Um, I think we're just playing Cobra here. Uh, Kind of like Coalition Relic, to be quite honest. Let's Coalition Relic into Valky next turn. How about that? I guess we could have Cobra into Valky as well. What do I know? This actually doesn't actually keep us off the, the Valky plan. Let's go black, because that's not a color we're going to have. 
So bring to light, we're gonna go green, blue, white, black. Might as well say red and see what our options are, right? Might as well do the, the full five. Um, nope, 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 nope. Bingo. It's your boy. Man, we don't have a red. That's sad. I guess we can play it next turn. He's at seven. Oh, they didn't actually attack our boy at all. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually go Exile's top two. Triumphs and mountains and things. Um. One, two for Cobra. The question is, do we Caracas this or do we Coalition Relic? I think we Coalition Relic here. We don't want this guy to flip. Oh, I can't foretell it anyway, I guess. So I guess we're not doing either. We're just going to use... I guess we should have said red then in that case. That's unfortunate. Okay, we're dashing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're just gonna block here and then pay the Alran's Epiphany naturally. They didn't, they didn't kill Tibble? Oh no. Interesting, lightning struck the face. Followed by. Nothing. Okay. Let's get a blue here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and this is going to be seven. The extra three mana doesn't do much here, but we could. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me, oh, sorry. Uh, one, two, we, one, two, three. If we tibble, we get three extra, three extra mana. So it's three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this just seems good. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, that's a lot of things. So now we have three, four, five, six, seven. 
play the Epiphany. Uh, let's play Lotus Cobra. Charge that. We can bring to light pretty much anything. I'm just going to need a black in case you want to bring to life a thing. Let's exile two cards from libraries. Um, we have two birds and a lightning strike, so I'm not super concerned with whatever they're trying to do here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's get another blue. Play Urzino. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure out one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I feel like it's just bring the light here, right? Red, blue, green, white. And this guy get something for four. Let's see what we can get our own lightning strike. Let's just cast dry out here. Let's just play another land. Cobra does three of things. Let's say red and lightning strike. One of these guys, I guess. Oh, I guess we could have Spectral Processioned as well, which might have been good. So, yeah, I guess we're just passing here. <laughs> a lot, there's a lot of options. A lot of things are happening, so. It's another situation where I wish I kept up one more. If I kept up one more mana, we would have been able to keep Mana Leak up, but... They hit a Giver of Runes. Not terrible. The reason we killed one of their flyers is because if they attack us for three, we can block two, we go to three, and then we're dead to a, a lot of a lot of one damage things. Or a lot of three damage things, I should say. Yep, like that specifically. That wouldn't have killed us. It would have put us to one, but nevertheless, you get the point I'm making. Don't be difficult. All right, put a charge counter. Now we have to keep it mana leak, and I think that's the uh, the strategy for us here. Let's get a green. Do we have any more lands here? None. So we're just playing from the hand at this point. I'll make a white and a white. None of your creatures are legendary, but it doesn't matter, I guess, because we have... Oh, can we cast these with any color? I'm pretty sure we can cast these with any color, and I'm just being really silly. One, two, three. Uh, let's get Questing Beast down. Oh, what up, Moochel Bajuchel? Play this. Add a green. Play Explore. What do we hit? Wandering Fumeral and Elite Spellbinder. So how much mana do we have now? So we can go... Yeah, this is plenty. White. Two. Three. Okay, that seems fine. One, two, three. I mean, we're just keeping up Mana Leak for their Firebolt, which is going to cost five. So I feel like we're okay.
yeah, got to be done. So uneventful, an uneventful 2-1, but we did it. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe. I said 2-1, I meant 1-2. An uneventful 1-2, what are you going to do? Thank you guys for watching. Slam the like buttons, the subscribe buttons, all the buttons you can hit, slam them all. Be sure to support the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate your support, especially in my, my, my after the move. <laughs> it's been helpful, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.